Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for the sign of Leo. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. So this may not resonate with all of you. Please take a resonates and leave the rest, but this could resonate with you if you have placements in Leo in your birth chart, or you are dealing with somebody that does have birth chart placements in Leo. I hope you guys all had a good weekend. Sending you love and light, always. Cross watchers, welcome. Please take a moment to read through the description box. You can find information there about my services, about how these readings work and how to interpret them. And other information about my social media pages. And um, just uh, there's a bunch of information in there that I would really appreciate it if you took a moment to read through it. All right. answer a lot of questions that may arise while watching my videos all right leo all right one more shuffle and we will get into the reading all right what do my leos need to know right now spirit what is what's the message for leo today Somebody's been waiting on communication. Somebody's been waiting on communication or somebody has been waiting on something to progress here. Movement in a situation. But I feel like somebody is ready to give up. Somebody is done. <laughs> somebody is fed up. They're like, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And it has not come in yet. So, some, somebody is waiting, debating on giving up on a situation. I don't think they have 100% gave up on a situation yet, but they're about to. And then right as somebody's about to give up, look at this Knight of Swords here, guys. There's like there's that communication coming in. Somebody um, possibly coming from a Gemini. Somebody's making has made a decision or, yeah, about a relationship. There's been a decision made here. Somebody wants equal give and take in a relationship, or there's somebody's ready to reciprocate in a connection. Ooh. This energy came out, I feel like, a couple weeks ago, either last week or a couple weeks ago, about it's like just as you're about to give up, then something comes in. What's this? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like somebody wants to give to you because they don't feel like they gave, they didn't give to you in the past. This is somebody that neglected you in the past, ghosted you. They just didn't give you what you were worth. This person could have um, taken some money from you, drained your finances in some way. But yeah, I see that somebody is very close. Somebody is very close to giving up on a situation because they've been waiting for some type of progress in it. They've been waiting for communication to come in. They're tired. They're fed up. Um, they've been trying to weigh their options. Like, well, uh, you know, if I stay, if I go. If I wait, if I, you know, leave or stop waiting, you know, they've been, it's like they're going back and forth. And I, but I do see this communication coming in guys from somebody that you're in a, some type of connection with. Um, they're wanting to have equal give and take with you when I feel like in the past it wasn't reciprocal. Um, possible signs that I'm seeing here is Gemini energy. I'm all seeing air energy. So heavy air energy here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, what's the back of the deck energy? Yeah. Two of cups. Somebody wants to. Wow, two of cups, ace of pentacles. Somebody wants to come. To, wow, guys. Guys. Somebody wants to come into union with you. They they view you as their soulmate. They want to have a new stable beginning with you. They want to work together with you, come together, compromise here because they see, wow, guys. They see ultimate happiness and fulfillment with you. You make them very happy. So they want to manifest this new beginning in love with you. We have literally, guys, we have the Two of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing here that this person that's coming towards you, they may have not been honest with you, possibly about their money situation or their stability Maybe this person said that they maybe wanted something stable with you, but they weren't being honest. 
or that's maybe something that they were not able to provide for you at the time. I see that this is somebody that you have not been speaking to. This is a no contact situation, but this is also a situation where I feel like you guys have been healing from this. I feel like um, somebody doesn't want this to be over. Or maybe somebody had not put in, what they were not being honest with you about was that they had not put an end to a situation. Yeah. I don't feel like there was any, they didn't, they weren't passionate about that situation. Um, it was a very unstable situation. I feel like your intuition maybe tipped you off that something wasn't right with this person. That they, and, and it caused you to move away from them and put your guard up. Yeah, you guarded yourself from this person. But now I feel like they're wanting to come in with this offer. I feel like you guys are pretty much pretty stable on your own. Like you don't need this person. But um, I do see them coming in with some type of offer here. It's like maybe this person can even feel. You know what that probably is, guys. It's like this person can feel that you're about to give up on them. They can feel you pulling, feel you pulling your energy away from them. So it's going to make them, this with the Knight of Swords here, this is very swift, quick action that this person's taking. Yeah. I thought I saw the listen to your heart card. It's on the back of the deck. Somebody wasn't listening to what their heart was guiding them to do or telling them to do. And let's see here. I feel like that's why they were also not, that's why this didn't come together in the past. What do you want? This person doesn't know what you want. Or maybe you didn't, this person that you're dealing with, they didn't know what they wanted at some point. <laughs> so there's communication coming in from this person saying that they had, the, the feelings are mutual. That they, it's like, I feel like this may have been a situation where you haven't talked to this person in a while. But they want to tell you that they, it's like with the two, it's like the two of cups type energy. It's like they want to tell you that the feelings are mutual. They do love you. They do want to be with you. They do want to come into union with you. But it's the, the question is, is like, is that something that you guys still want? What's this? Hmm. Yeah, you guys. With this, I'm coming. Trust like you. You guys were lacking um, faith or confidence that this person was going to actually return. Like maybe for a while you thought they were and you were waiting. But then you're like, nah. I feel like you guys are going to make a heart based decision as well. It could also be this person. Um, that has been weighing their options about coming, rushing in with some type of communication. I do see them coming in though. So I feel like they're going to, they're finally going to make a love, a heart based decision. Yeah. And this is going to kind of take you guys off guard. This is going to kind of <laughs> throw you for a loop. Okay guys. So that's why spirit saying, make sure you're ground, make, you know, time to ground yourself. Cause it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a little, it's going to take you off guard. It's going to kind of frazzle you a little bit. Yeah, this is coming in very abruptly. What's the lovers? This person it was like debating between, they had to make a decision about this relationship. I feel like this person, I don't even know if it's so much that they were debating. I don't think it was between you and another person. I feel like it was be between whether or not they should take this leap of faith. They don't know if they're going to get rejected. That's what it is here. So I take that leap of faith, but it's like now they're, they don't think they're going to get rejected anymore for whatever reason, or maybe they're just more confident and like, maybe they don't care either way. It's just like, they're like, I just got to do this no matter, you know, no matter what the outcome is. But I'm seeing this energy of like, somebody was like hesitant to take a leap of faith here because they were afraid of rejection, but there's something here about the, re they're not afraid of that anymore. Okay. What is this? <laughs> so this person is one and is very much thinking about you passionately. I do see that here. 
yeah, this person is like, and they're wanting you to like kind of give in to them when it comes to that. They are desiring you. Oh my gosh, guys. Um, okay. So what I'm getting here, guys, is that I feel like this person with the love me in reverse, they don't they don't even care if you if you love them or not. This person just wants to have some passion with you. What is going on here? So is this just passion or what is this? I'm so oh, you know what it is, guys? This person came off very lustful in the past. They maybe wanted to just be friends with benefits with you or they just wanted to hook up. Yeah, that's what this is. This person's sorry for just being very lustful, keeping you, like, for not offering you something stable, for just like keeping the relationship very, like, there, like I said, there was passion, but there was no stability. And I feel like this person was not, not willing to open up to you emotionally. You wanted love from this person. And I feel like this person was like open to sleeping with you. But when it came to like stability and love, like this person would not open up to you. They would, they were refusing to give you, um, you know, commitment. And we have no reverse on the back of the deck. So it's like in the past, this person was refusing to give that to you. But I feel there's something changing here, guys. Five of Pentacles. They've gained some type of clarity. They felt like they couldn't give you what you deserved in the past because they were lacking clarity about something here. But now they have received some type of answers or clarity about something now. So now what? <laughs> you are wrong in reverse. What's this? Ah, so somebody thought you had options. Or maybe you guys do have options or... Is this supposed to be okay? Let me try it again. Is it supposed to be okay? Hmm. I meant what I said. Hmm. So this person thought you had, at, they, this person thinks you have options, but they've gained some type of clarity about that. Or maybe, oh, I just, as I say, maybe the maybe card came out. Maybe. I think they think you might have options. Maybe you guys had a feeling that this person was looking at other options. I feel like Spirit is saying that they were. Or maybe this person was not clear on whether or not you even considered them as an option anymore or not. But they, it says, do you even see me that way in reverse? So, it's like, so for some reason, this person didn't know if you still even would consider them, if you still had feelings for them. But something has changed and now it's like they know that you do have feelings for them or that's what they they're thinking that you do still have feelings for them they could be watching you on social media and maybe watching your posts and they think that you're posting about them i don't know what it is that you guys maybe have they feel like you have tipped them off and now they do know that you still have feelings for them so now that's how it was triggering this person to come in yeah, this person's coming because we have, I think we should slow down and reverse. This person's coming in quickly. This person was worried about this connection, but they're not worried anymore with the, I worry about us in reverse. All right, guys. So we're going to take this over to the extended reading and take a deeper look at this. Let's see what this person's been up to while you guys have been in separation. Um, what their feelings and intentions are. Um, see what you guys are manifesting, what the future of this situation looks like. All right. Um, and whatever else I feel, feel drawn to do. All right. So. Um, if you're interested in that, the link will be in the description box, but if not, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you could take something from this reading, personal readings are open. Check, reach out to me via email if you're interested in that. And don't forget to also like and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'm going to try to get back into posting, um, daily collective readings there soon. Okay. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.